Hey guys, how's it going? In this video, I'm going to go through some worked examples on units, prefixes and scientific notation. Now, if you haven't already done so, check out my other video covering the theory on this topic and that way you'll have some knowledge to apply it to these questions. Now, remember that if you want to try the questions yourself before seeing my answers, just make sure you pause the video throughout and then check your solutions with mine. Okay, so question one is all about prefixes and it says to write out in words and in numbers what the following prefixes represent. For each one, write down the prefix next to it. Now for part A, remember from the table of prefixes that kilo has the symbol k, it means times a thousand or times ten to the three, and if we were to write that in full form that would be one zero 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 one thousand. Part B is mega, so this has the symbol of capital M which means times a million or times ten to the six, which is one zero 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 zero. Cente, remember this has the symbol small c, which is a hundredth or times 10 to the minus 2 and if we were to write that out in full it's 0 0.01. Part D is milli which has the symbol of small m which is a thousandth or times 10 to the minus 3 and is the same as saying 0 0.001. Micro has the symbol of mu which is a millionth or times 10 to the minus 6 and if we were to write that out in full 0 0.000001. Part F giga that is a G capital G which is a billion times 10 to the 9 or 1 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0. And lastly part G is nano which has the symbol of small n which is a billionth or times 10 to the minus 9 which written in full is 0 0.000000001. So all of that was straight from the table of prefixes which you're going to have to learn. Moving on to question 2 now, it says looking at the table of prefixes which is this thing here, part A is why is centi the odd one out? So if we look here, we'll see that I've sort of shown that centi is the odd one out by having these darker lines, but the reason that it's the odd one out is that it's a power of two, not a power of three. So all the others are multiples of three, but this is only a power of two. So the power is not a multiple of three. Part B, what is unusual about the standard unit for mass? This isn't really from the table, but remember that mass does not need to be changed from kilograms to grams since kilograms is the SI unit for mass. And lastly, part C, explain why the letter M is not used for the prefix micro. Well, we can look at this in the table. You'll see micro is mu and milli is small m. So the reason that micro cannot have small m is because milli has already taken up the symbol of small m. So M is already used for the prefix milli. Question 3 says to convert the following prefixes into standard units. So we're going to need to know our prefix as well to answer this question. So part A, 6 kilometres. Remember K means times 10 to the 3. So this becomes 6 times 10 to the 3 metres. Part B, 50 milliamps. If we want to get that into amps, we need to replace a small m with times 10 to the minus 3. So this becomes 50 times 10 to the minus 3 amps. 2 megawatts. Remember mega is times a million or times 10 to the power of 6. So if we rewrite this, we would write it as 2 times 10 to the power of 6 watts. Part D is 75 micrometers. So if we replace the micro with times 10 to the minus 6, we get 75 times 10 to the minus 6 meters. Part E, 400 nanometers. Remember nano means times 10 to the power of minus 9. So we replace the N with 400 times 10 to the minus 9 meters. Part F, 40 kilovolts becomes 40 times 10 to the 3 volts. Part G, 96.7 megahertz. If we replace the mega with times 10 to the power of 6, this becomes 96.7 times 10 to the 6 hertz. Part H, 500 microseconds. If we replace micro with times 10 to the power of minus 6, this becomes 500 times 10 to the minus 6 seconds. Part I is 2 gigahertz. So again, giga is times 10 to the power of 9. So if we replace the giga with times 10 to the 9, we get 2 times 10 to the 9 hertz. Part J is 4 millimeters. So if we replace milli with times 10 to the power of minus 3, then we get 4 times 10 to the minus 3 meters. Part K, 25 gigajoules. So remember, giga times 10 to the 9. So we get 25 times 10 to the 9 joules. And lastly, 700 nanometers becomes 700 times 10 to the minus 9 meters. Question 4 says to write the following in scientific notation. So the way we're going to do this is we're going to make sure that the decimal point goes after the first non-zero number. So for part A, 3700000, this will become... 3.7 times 10 to the 8. So all we're doing there is putting in the decimal point after the first non-zero number and then we're counting how many places along until we get to the end of that number and that will tell us our power. So if I put my point in there, 3.7, then I move over 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 places and that becomes my power. And we're going to do the same thing for all of them. So for part B, 20050000000, 
we're going to do 2 point and so on. So this will become 2.0 times 10 to the power of 10. Part C, this really large number, will become 9.3 times 10 to the power of 14. Part D, 0 0.00023 will become 2.3 times 10 to the power of minus four. So in this case, we're moving the decimal point to the left four times, so our power is gonna be negative. For part E, we've got 0 0.00000006, which will become 6.0 times 10 to the minus eight. Again, a negative power because we're moving the decimal point to the left. And lastly, part F, we've got this really small number here. And if we put the decimal point in after the four and then move back a certain number of decimal places, this becomes 4.0 times 10 to the power of minus 11. The last question then, question five, write out the following as full numbers. So this is sort of the opposite of what we were doing in question three. So in part A, three times 10 to the eight, we have 3000000000. Part B is 2.75 times 10 to the 4, so this will become, if we move the decimal place to the right four times, 27500. Part C, 7.004 times 10 to the 9 will become 7004000000. For part D, we've got 8.4 times 10 to the minus 3, so because it's a negative power, we're going to move the decimal point to the left this time by three places, so this will become 0.0084. Part E is 4.2 times 10 to the minus 8, which again we're going to be moving the decimal point to the left for because of the negative power. So this will become 0.0000042. And lastly, part F is 9.08 times 10 to the power of minus 5. Again, moving the decimal point to the left by five places this time gives us a number of 0.000. 0908. That's all for this video guys, I hope you found it useful and if you did make sure you give it one of these and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.